as Christians, we really pr- approach the Bible in two different ways. Um, one, as literature, and two, as revelation. We always approach them together, and we try to hold both of those two things in tension. But we recognize that as Christians, right, the Bible has a revelatory element, so that if I'm reading a certain text, um, like in Acts 2 or in Jeremiah or wh- wherever I'm reading it, that suddenly, like that, the Spirit can speak to me about my life wherever I'm at, through that text. And that's one of the, the powers of Holy Scripture because we know that the Word of God is not just written with certain, off, you know, in certain genres and certain intentions by the authors. It's also God-breathed. And so it has the capacity, if you meditate on God's Word, to speak to you. And so today we're going to do a practice and I'm just going to give you the instructions and really you're going to do the practice that's called Lectio Divina, which means divine reading. And I have the instructions uh, in the description. And before you begin, you're only going to need two things. You need a timer and something to, and something to write on. Okay, So it's the only two things that you need. Um, you don't even need a Bible because I'm going to read the text to you. Uh, and then, yeah, so I'll, I'll get into that in a second. So let me talk through real quick the instructions for the, for the exercise. You're going to begin with one minute of silence. You're actually going to time yourself. This is very important. You want to take a legit one minute. You don't want to just like, okay, it feels like one minute. Take an actual minute. Okay? Then you're going to read the question that you're going to be thinking about as you, as we do the reading. So reading, for reading number one, it says in the description, listen to what the Spirit is saying. And then the question is, what are the phrases, words, or images that stand out to you? All right? So then, I'm going to read the text, and as you hear me read it, okay, then you record what you feel and think. Then after you're done, after I'm done with the reading, there's going to be one minute of silence, and again, you have to time this yourself, Um, and during that minute of silence, continue to write whatever the Spirit is telling you, and you're going to do this kind of pattern four times. Okay, so you're going to hear the text at least four times, and at each time, um, I've always found that, you know, when I would do this with students or adults, people are always shocked by the amount of things, uh, the different the differences between the things that they hear each time. They're shocked by the nuances they didn't pick up the, on the time before. Um, I I know people who have heard sort of like pieces of a bigger word that God was giving them um, each time they did it, each time they listened to the text and responded by writing it down and being silent. So this is an exercise that once you do it, I want you to, if you feel comfortable, share your thoughts and your experience of this exercise in the comment section. Uh, We want to hear about how God is speaking to you and what are the ways that we can pray for you. Now, like I said earlier in the video, I'm not going to be able to do this um, uh, with you right now on, over the recording this entire exercise. This is for you to do at home. However, I will read uh, the text that I'm that I'm assigning for this video. Um, and of course, for Lectio Divina, you can use any text that you like. Um, you can use any portion of scripture. It does not have to be the passage that I've selected. But if you'd like um, to hear the text read aloud, Bible Gateway has an audio uh, function. Uh, audio component you can press play on every time or you can just rewind the video whenever I stop reading the text and go back to where I started and then uh, press play and then listen to me read it again so it's up to you I will leave, leave the link to the description to everything so all right so I hope that makes sense now I will begin the reading Acts chapter 2 verses 1 through 13 When the day of Pentecost had come, the disciples were all together in one place, and suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues, as of fire, appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages, as the Spirit gave them ability. And at this sound... The crowd gathered and was bewildered, 
because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear, each of us, in our own native language? All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others sneered and said, They are filled with new wine. 